Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here, and I want to talk about how you can boost your progesterone. Um, there's several things listed here, but the biggest thing to look at when you're looking at shifting your hormones um, is what's going on currently for you and then what you're looking for to happen. Like, uh, I want to boost my progesterone because I want to have a more regular cycle, or I'm looking at increasing my fertility, or I'm looking at decreasing some of my symptoms something like that, right? So it's important to understand what's currently going on with your system. And if you don't know where you're at currently, then it's important you get hormone testing. So Dutch test is an amazing, amazing test. They use your urine. So you actually get to see not just what your levels are, but how your body's processing these hormones, because that's where the overall hangup is. I mean, how many times have you looked at something and said, gosh, I know my hormones are off, but you know, going on a birth control didn't necessarily help me or adding this other thing in, it didn't really help me. That's because it's not necessarily just about what your levels are, but how your body's processing it. And if that's not being addressed, it's like, it doesn't matter what you're putting in the machine. If the gears aren't working right, the output isn't going to be correct. So that's what we look at. That's what we look at with the Dutch test. So this is something we do in the one-on-one -on -one level. Um, so I'm gonna put a link here if you guys have not seen it. Um, put a link in the comments for you to peek at that. Um, get a Dutch test, get a gut GI mapping test. Make sure all systems are up and running and functioning. Yes. So boosting progesterone. Why would this be important? Progesterone is necessary to help regulate your cycle and balance out estrogen. If your progesterone is off, if it's low um, because you're estrogen dominant, then it's going to be really hard to get on top of and stay ahead of any hormonal issues. So basic things here to look at for boosting progesterone. First one is like getting enough protein. Are you getting enough protein to help support your body and your system? If not, start with getting protein. A lot of these other things like the herbs and things like that, like, oh, what can I take or what can I do? There's so many things that you can do, but if you're not fueling your body correctly, if you're not getting enough protein in to start, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter some of these other things here if you're not getting the right fuel in. So start here. Get enough leafy greens in, get enough clean eating in, um, avoid artificial colors, flavors, sweeteners, things like that. That disrupts your gut microbiome and disrupts how well you can balance your hormones on your own. The goal here is that your body does it naturally. The goal is that your system can regulate your own hormones. What does that mean? It means you produce and then maintain the correct amount for your system. So to do that, you have to get these basic things in first. And then of course I put this in here. If your estrogen is too high, Oh, we got to look at decreasing that. Oftentimes we look at doing something through the liver, uh, making sure your liver is processing these hormones correctly, all of that. Um, warming foods. Now, warming foods, these are things that I cover um, in my book, The Female Fat Solution. If you're like, I don't have a cycle, female menopause solution book for you. Um, but these are on Amazon. But I talk about what warming foods are, why they're important, and how they can help your progesterone levels. Um, in there. And then I also have videos on this on my YouTube channel, Dr. Beth West, so you can subscribe to stay updated on all the videos I have there. Um, there are also certain herbs that can really help. And if you're like, oh my gosh, list, list the herbs. List the herbs for me. Some of the herbs would depend on what may be going on with your system. But I also have, I did a sneak peek before, but I um, don't you know. I can't officially show you, but I've been working on something for months. For a long time, and I'm so excited for some herbs specifically designed to help the female body um, create and maintain the correct amount of hormonal balance. Mm -hmm. This one would be the one for progesterone and there's a different one for estrogen because it's important. Like seed cycling, both herbs. Yeah, yeah. So coming soon. So stay tuned for the release of this. It's really close. I don't have a label on it yet. That's still working on some of the fine tuned details. I'm so excited. Oh my God, okay. Um, but this, Super, super helpful. And, and if you're thinking like, well, why is it like this? I'll get into this, but certain blends of things um, play off of each other to help your system function better. And this is a great way to get it in where you're not taking like 10 different capsules. You just take one little dropper. There you go. Um, so there's that. Um, creams, progesterone creams. This is a really common one too. A lot of times people will use um, creams. Uh, uh, plant-based progesterones produced by like yam, whatnot. Sure, sure. Like, okay. And these can be helpful, again, if you know your actual levels. If you know exactly what your levels are. If you don't know what your levels are, it's important that we know. There are sometimes I will say, hey, we, we need to layer in 
some type of progesterone for you here because this is a mess. Or I say, you know what? Let's hold off on this because we need to correct some of these things first. It just depends on what's going on for your body, right? So if you've tried some things and you're like, gosh, I feel like I'm going in circles and I'm not really getting anywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then the last one here is decreasing stress. Decreasing stress. Decreasing stress boosts your progesterone. Yes. Yes. Because if your system is stressed, if your body is the female body, if the female body is too stressed, you're, you're not going to ovulate regularly. You just don't. This is a protective mechanism for the female body. Now, where is a lot of progesterone created? Ovaries. It impacts your ovarian function. What? Yes. How do I correct that? By decreasing stress. This is more than just like, oh, I'm going to calm down, blah, blah, blah. This is really looking at things that you're doing day to day throughout the day. And this is a big thing right now for people. People are more stressed right now than uh, in a while, right? We've been under stress for the past year and a half. And just recently it's gotten real bad. And a lot of people are really worried or really concerned or just not feeling good. Yeah, I understand. I totally understand. Listen, this is gonna mess up your cycle. This is gonna mess up your cycle if you are not monitoring your stress. So if you need help with this, or if you are wondering like, okay, what are some things that I can do to help my support my stress and my hormones, let me know, or you know, you can put a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to do a video on that. Yeah, um, but these are the things to make sure you're getting enough progesterone in your system, because your body should make enough for you until you go through a hormone transition. All right, that's what I got for you guys tonight. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I also have other resources for you on my podcast, The Female Health Solution. Yes, otherwise have a great rest of your night and I will see you later.